What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another training guide slash player breakdown slash pack review. We are now in the fans choice Spanish league selection. So we already had a couple of these selections a couple of weeks back and a couple of days ago we are getting a recycled kind of cards that have been out with new designs. So they're similar stats to previous versions of the cards or else they're new cards that haven't been released yet. They are the fans choice, right? So these are a good opportunity if you are out of contract with a lot of these cards that you have. You know, if you've got a good Gabby card or the Barcelona club pack that you got when uh, the game first launched, you might obviously have them out of contract now. So I think that's why they keep releasing these, okay? And obviously they're popular players as well. So we're just going to give a quick run through of the players. We're going to break them down into three categories. So the first three are going to be players that I don't really think are worth uh, training for or spinning for. If you do get these, I mean, it's probably going to be because you're you're opening a couple of different packs. So if you have maybe 10 spins of this for a 1,000 coins and you get, you know, Courtois, Gavi, and I would say DePaul and Williams, you would have, you know, four out of... Uh, of four of the best players here right but if you do get these i don't recommend really training them up there's only one or two examples of where i would um this guy isn't too bad his standard form and the fact that he doesn't have long throw or low punt kind of rules him out straight away i mean he's also not a really tall goalkeeper so if you don't have that reflexes and jump uh, extremely high i don't think that he's going to be worthwhile for you now he's down as a defensive keeper which does take a little bit of points in his in his favor but yeah for me i think if you if you uh get him there are better standard keepers there that you should be able to have gp for also is the same with hernandez here looking at this guy i mean he's not going to be too effective with that aggression i know you can train him up 50 levels and i know that he does got he does have man marking which is decent and unwavering form that when they do bring back the player live update that you know it might obviously be worthwhile to have a player like this if he is on b or a rating with the unwavering form and you can throw a couple of skills on him but why bother i mean when you can get a player for gp that is going to do it all um and you know you can even get like different types of players from the eFootball point store and you might get lucky with a player of the week as well if you are getting your free spin from the events so for me he's also a little bit of a player that I, I wouldn't really be too uh, pushed on getting, right? We have Garcia here as well. He is a speed demon. There's nothing wrong with that. He's got some good player skills as well. Um, no dribbling skills, nothing really there. Or sorry, I meant to say AI playing style skills and uh, player skills here are a bit lacking. But yeah, I mean, you've got 83 acceleration. You can max this guy out at 99 acceleration. But that's all he really has. I mean, everything else, passing, shooting, dribbling, ball control is going to let him down. Even if you pop 20 points into ball control, 20 levels, you're going to only have 87 ball control, which, you know, isn't really where you want your winger to be, especially if you're going to have to max out his balance and his acceleration at 99. If you pop 15 into balance and acceleration and uh, offensive awareness with the dexterity, that's going to be a bit of a concern because you won't have as, as many points to go around, even though he does have 37 levels to go, right? we will take a look at Guti and Bray White in a few minutes as well in a bit more detail but we also have Danny Rodriguez here who is a left midfielder he's quite an average player as well he's got some really good player skills including double touch through passing outside curler and he does have long ranger here with speeding bullet amazing run incisive run and unwavering form so he's not a bad creative playmaker if you are going to be playing in central midfield obviously there's nothing going to be added to his game defensively but in terms of passing the ball and crossing the ball and stuff like that he's average if you get him and you want to train him up especially if you want to train him in different positions right we all we also have negredo which apart from the novelty factor of him being an absolute legend um you know and just a legend of the game in general he does have one touch pass aerial superiority and heading which is where exactly you're going to you're going to play him. If you've missed out on collar and you don't you are looking for a target man that's going to cost you nothing and you get this guy, max out his heading, max out his physical contact, max out his jumping and his finishing. He'll be as slow as molasses, but you'll still be able to score some goals. Uh, so if you play that way, because stunning crosses are very overpowered at the moment, as you can see with Collar when I use him. And then we also have a Robertone as well. This guy is a center midfielder, a hole player. I usually get fairly excited for hole players, and this guy is no different. We will take a look at him in a second, but I mean, the thing that kind of kills him is the lack of a one-touch pass. 
you will need to throw that on him. Any whole player that you're playing will probably need one touch pass unless you're like dribble centric with him. But his stats are really good across the board. He's going to go mid 80s on pretty much everything that you need for a CMF if you play him as an attacking midfielder or else an attacking centre midfielder. So that's just to kind of round us off. Um, we also have Cavani, who, you know, again, similar to what I said with Negredo, you can use him as an in the air threat. Heading, acrobatic finishing, dip and shot, long range curler, first time shot and one touch pass. And he also is a very, very good man uh, on the ground. If you keep things simple with him with that finishing, you can get the finishing into 88. You can get his heading into 94. You can get a lot of good stats there, which we might take a quick look at his card in a second. Now, the rest of the cards we're going to take more of a look at, right? I don't think I've missed anyone here that I really recommend. Uh, Unal, this guy is just your average center forward as well. There's a lot of these center forwards now, lads, that really aren't going to do the business for you if you're com if you're trying to get you know into divisions but if you're looking to have a bit of crack you can score with these guys but yeah i wouldn't recommend this guy from the pack at all really um so we're going to go on to the kind of the big key stars now in this and this is what i'm talking about right loads of levels it's it's a new card really in a fan's choice it's a it's a new card for him the ex barcelona man but he only goes to you know 85 offensive awareness 85 finishing and 90 acceleration like that's just an average center forward at this stage in the in the game we also have guti here as well this guy's a really good center midfielder but his stats are lacking in a little way right even if you pop 15 into dribbling and passing you're only left with like nine points left Yes, you have 89 ball control and 88 low pass, but you've got 81 tight possession. And even if you throw in a couple into dexterity, you're only going to get that to 80. You're still going to have lack of speed. You're going to have no defensive capabilities for a box to box. So again, that's where I think a lot of these players fall short. You already, you, we already talked about this guy. This guy's got some extremely good stats if you pop 10 in here and 10 in here. Yes, attacking wise, he's going to be really, really good, especially when you get the acceleration up and the stamina and the speed up a little bit as well. He can't shoot, but I mean, you can double down on the dribbling if you want to go that route and get that all into the 88 zone. So you'll have 88 or 90 in all the dribbling stats and 88 low pass, which is quite decent. And with the player skills, he's not a bad pull either as a whole player. Um, we've also got Ruben Garcia, this guy we talked about maybe um, as kind of you can compare him to a lot of different players. He does have pinpoint crossing, he does have good dribbling, he does have good stamina. Defensively, he's not going to be there as a left midfielder to track back, so I wouldn't even bother with that. It's going to be all about his pace and power. A lot of these cards are extremely similar cards, especially, especially you know, the, the players that are only going to go to the like kind of high 80s in most uh, aspects of their game. Uh, Williams is another choice. Obviously, he's going to be down as a center forward, a goal poacher. Um, yeah, the problem with this guy is his finishing. You can go to 85 with that. His dribbling isn't going to be insane, but he does have really good speed. The balance is a slight issue. I mean, you're not going to get that balance any higher than that, but he does have a good base of speed. So that's not a bad goal poacher, especially if you get him in form. Uh, he's pretty, you know, he's a pretty decent goal, uh, goal scorer if you get him uh, where you need him to go, right? And that is kind of a lot of the, a lot of the thing with these players is that you do need to kind of pick where you want to play him and then play him. It's the same with Aspas here. This guy has got a wavering form and has got some brilliant player skills, has got some really key stats. But uh, as we look at his card here and we train him up, he just falls short a little bit. I mean, if you go 88 with that and then you try to get his dexterity up as high as you can go, maybe go to 10 levels with that to get 90 offensive awareness, pop in a four into, into that, get a little bit onto his dribbling for your Romario S type striker, maybe go six with that actually. And then I would pop the rest into dexterity to go 87 acceleration, maybe pop one more there. You're going to have a 93 overall center forward, but is he really going to be a player that you can build around? I mean, for me personally, he's just missing a couple of stats with the dribbling. You know, he doesn't hit all those marks and doesn't compare to the top class players. The Paul is an interesting one, right? He's got unwavering form. He's, a, he's down as a whole player. He is naturally going to be a bit defensive because of that defensive engagement. I will do a training guide on DePaul because he's a very interesting case study of players, the way they've balanced players in the game. But I would be training him purely as an attack and build. You know, you can get 88 acceleration, dribble and tight possession and low pass. If you want to balance him that way, you also get good speed. You can throw in a couple into defending to get 70 tackling if you want to, but I would probably go attacking, uh, a very attacking build, and just be able to get up and down the pitch. He's not going to need to be box-to-box -box, uh, type uh, stamina, but you could go with the passing even into the 90 zone. I would probably go with that um, because it does make a difference when you go to the 90 if you want to uh, you know, be hitting key passes, especially with the way the passing is at the moment. And then to round this off, we've got Parejo. I've, I've, I've kind of, you know, I've kind of 
the same type build for him. You're going to go 90 into the passing. You're going to go 90 into the tight possession. That's probably the key stat there. His acceleration is going to be more, you know, kind of as a, of an afterthought. We'll get it to 70 for the balance, up to 85. And we'll also go 70 with speed to get the stamina up. But then the rest is going to be kind of a no man's land type uh, player because if you throw it into shooting you can get 82 finishing and curl but you know I mean what's the point of that when you are playing as an orchestrator you know so I would probably get 85 curl on that just for passing and stuff um if you wanted to do that not that it makes a massive difference in my opinion and then I would probably throw the rest into dribbling to be honest with you so that the ball really sticks to his feet um if you wanted to go down that route uh he is a fairly good player but is he a 95 center midfielder 97 attacking midfielder rated there based on that I don't think so, personally speaking. We also have Rakitic, and he's a, he's a very similar player, right? So you can go 90 in that. You can go pretty high 80s uh, in that. The dexterity is going to be, again, the issue. Even if you go to 70 in that, you're going to have to waste a lot of points. And then the rest of that, the stamina, is going to be poor as well. Now, he's box-to-box. -box. We don't need as much acceleration. And we also probably don't need as much passing because he's going to be playing a different role. Um, So that's kind of how I would train him. If you do want an individual training guide on Rakitic, if you get him, I can do it. Cavani we've talked about Cavani we're not even going to focus on him it's just all going to be about heading like get that up as much as you can get a couple of extra on to jump with the extra ones there if you want to go that route with him you know you're not going to get your dexterity up but the offensive awareness is key and then the rest is going to go on to finish it so it's not a bad card but I just don't think that it's a card that you would really be bringing on and expecting big things out of and then to round us off, we've got David Silva, and we also have Fakir, who are, you know, really, really good players, but really, really similar players, right? Fakir is actually uh, one of the best hold players in the game if you train him right. We're going to show you here. 10 into that, 10 in, 8 into that, that's going to get us all the boost there. 80 acceleration, that's all we need for the time being. 75 into speed. And then, if you'd like to shoot a lot with your attack and midfielders, you can pop that up to 80 and still have a few more in. If you don't like to shoot, you can obviously double down on your dexterity and get him into the 87 zone with the acceleration, 92 balance, and 87 offensive awareness. That's a really good key stats uh, in all different areas with the card. Silva is the same. It's going to be all about the passing with Silva and the dribbling. You're not going to have much acceleration. You can get it up a bit. I mean, 78 is more than enough, and the stamina at 70 is probably enough. Shooting isn't going to be, you know, much here with the creative playmaker. So I would probably double down again on that, uh, them two stats there, and just have maybe one more into defending their area of strength, or else your possession-based play style, or whatever we want to go. And then I think the biggest cards, obviously, in these are the three boys here, right? So, I mean, if you are looking at uh, Gabby Courtois and, yeah, Gabby and Courtois, right? They're the two guys that we have here to really look at, right? Gabby is probably the pick of them, okay? We've left the best to last. This guy is an insane player, lads, right? And I'll tell you why. Do you see that stat there, aggression 80? Even though he's a creative playmaker, right? That stat is where you need to really kind of take him um and push the card forward right i always say ex you know like overextend on certain stats right but depends on the play style right and i reckon that you know gavi is definitely better suited as an attacking midfielder a very competitive combative attacking midfielder because you can get all the stats like the low pass you can get the dribbling you can get all of those with the boost into the 90 zone right that's not going to be a problem the dexterity we can go to 88 on that very very easily the stamina we can go to 78 on the speed and 80 on the stamina and then you can also get his aggression up to like 90 very very quickly if you want to go that route defensively as an attacking player with these stats right I will be playing him as a center midfielder, like in the Pedri hole role, or else as a creative midfielder that's breaking the line as an AMF, right? If you are doing that, you could all also, you know, pop three more into his dribbling. I would probably do that, to be honest with you, because I'm going to be running a lot with him. Or else, if you want to talk, you could pop two more into dexterity to get that balance to an insane 94 level, the acceleration to 90, and then you still have your uh, dribbling stats in the 90, with dribbling 90, 91 type possession, 89 ball control, 88 low pass, stamina 80, 90 aggression and defensive engagement. Now, the reason for that defensive engagement is not to play him defensively, it's to attack up front and to press up front. He's a really unique player to do that. And then last but not least, we have Courtois. A lot of people that watched my tier list video will have seen that Courtois 
Um, you know, is he as good as Donnarumma? I mean, he is. I mean, realistically, he is. And you can see why with this card. This is actually a very good card to jump in with Donnarumma and Courtois at the point with the Italian League stars or else these league stars, right? He goes to pretty much uh, perfect stats, like 87, 87, 88, 90, and 86. Really, really good card. Um, he has a long throw but doesn't have a low punt. So that probably just, you know, means that Donnarumma is slightly better, in my opinion, um, than Courtois. But really, it is a personal choice. I mean, it's a flip of a coin. Um, so, yeah, that is it for the pack, lads. There's a lot of players there, 15 players. We've covered them all. Let me know what you think. I probably will do a training guide on maybe three or four of these guys that are kind of hard enough to train. So make sure you keep it locked to the channel. And uh, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll be back in a bit. Let me know if you like these longer-type videos as well, lads. Otherwise, we will go back to the other route. And, uh, yeah, let me know.